Hi, my name is Justin Shelf, and I run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to be talking about an error that you might get when installing third party software updates on your configuration manager clients if the WSUS signing certificate being used to publish third party updates hasn't been properly deployed to your clients so that they trust that certificate being used to sign those third party updates. So we're on a client that is having this issue. So first thing we'll do is look at the update that we've already attempted to install. Now within here, we can of course see this has failed. So if we go ahead and look at the more information and copy that exit code, we can see that we're getting 800 B0109. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now, if we open CM trace and do control L that will open up the error lookup feature. If we go ahead and paste in that exit code, and we actually look at the details about what that code means, we can see that it's saying a certificate chain process, but terminated because the root certificate is not trusted. So what that is saying is that your client is attempting to install a third party update, but when it's evaluating the published update, it does not trust the certificate that was used to sign that third party update. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and coming back to our SCCM server. Now there's a few different ways that we can deploy our WSUS signing certificate so that your clients trust it. Now, if you're running configuration manager current branch version 1806 or newer, there's a feature within the console that you can enable to automatically enable the third party update certificate and have it automatically deployed to your clients. So we'll include a link to this documentation, but this just talks about where in your console you can go to enable the third party software updates and more specifically the option here where we can have SCCM automatically manage and deploy the certs to your clients. So if we come over to our console and we actually use this method to deploy the certificate to our clients directly within configuration manager, this is going to be the easiest option. So if we go ahead and go to our site and right click and choose configure site components and software update point. If we look at our third party updates tab, we can go ahead and click this option to enable software updates. We are going to enable the feature here that says allow configuration manager to manage the certificate. So what that means is that it's going to automatically read the certificate in use on your WSUS server for publishing updates, or if there's not one, it would automatically create that for us. Now, in our case, we have already configured a certificate externally to SCCM using our publishing tool. This could also have been done with SCUP or any other publishing method that you're using. So even if the certificate is already in place, this feature will automatically read it and deploy it to your clients. Now, if we go ahead and look at our WSYNC manager log, because after I enabled that, I did automatically right click our software updates and choose to sync our software update point. Now within our WSYNC manager log, what we can notice here is that it did in fact read the signing certificate in use and it automatically added that into SCCM during our sync process. So now if we come back into our console, right click our site and look at our software update point, we can now see that it's automatically read the certificate that's being used for signing updates. So that, that looks good. Now, please consider that in the scenario that you have a software update point and it is a remote site system and it's not on your site server, it would have to be in HTTPS in order to use this feature where SCCM will automatically read and deploy the signing certificate to your clients. Now, if you're not in HTTPS and your site system for your software update point is remote from your main SCCM site server, we can certainly use a group policy to export the cert and then import it and deploy it via that method. And we'll cover that here in a few minutes. Okay, so now that the certificate is uh, read and it's into SCCM and we validated that by seeing the thumbprint here, we can go ahead and click okay. And there's one other setting that we need to apply before your clients will automatically get these third party certificates as a trusted cert. So within your client settings, you could either create a custom client setting or you could modify an existing one. Within the software updates, there's a new option here to enable third party software updates. So on the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and click yes on that. Now by enabling this client setting, it will automatically enable the option to allow your clients to install third party updates and it will automatically add that certificate that SCCM imported so that it's trusted on your clients. 
So to speed this up, I'm gonna go ahead and open my config manager applet. We're gonna do a machine policy, so that should see that it gets the new client setting that is enabling third-party updates. And we'll go ahead and run a software update deployment and evaluation cycle. And what that should do is it should uh, automatically import that certificate into our client. Okay, so looking back at that updates deployment log, what we can see here is that it detected that we have a certificate in use for third-party updates, but it's not trusted on the machine yet. So we can see the thumbprint, and then we can see that it automatically installs it into the trusted root on our client, and it also installs it to the trusted publishers. Now, please keep in mind, it could take a little bit after you enable these settings for this to take place because your client will have to get client policy, and then it will take place during that next scan. So it can take a little bit just through the native cycles before your client actually trusts this. Now, if we go ahead and open up our cert lm.msc, so that's our local certificate store on our client. What we'll notice is that the certificate in use for our third-party updates has automatically been deployed to our trusted publishers. So here's that certificate in place for trusted publishers. And it was also added into our trusted root. So we can come over here and we can see that here's the cert that we configured and the one that we're using here. So this looks good. It's automatically been deployed through our SCCM agent. Now, if we were to come back into Software Center now, and if we go ahead and look at our uh, update here, we'll go ahead and retry now. And now we can see the update completed successfully now that that client trusts the certificate being used to sign those updates. Now, in the scenario that you're not on Configuration Manager 1806 or newer, or if your software update point is not in HTTPS and you would rather use the group policy method for deploying your cert, we'll walk through what that would look like. So depending on the method that you're using, if you're using our publishing utility for, our, our, uh, for publishing our catalog, you could go ahead and open up our publishing service and choose to export the certificate that is currently in use for signing updates. So from here, we would go ahead and export that, and I'll just call it WSUS signing cert, and then export that to my desktop. Now, in the event that you're using Configuration Manager to publish the updates, or you're using SCUP, System Center Update Publisher, you could also export the certificate using the cert lm.msc, so opening up our local certificate store for this device that is our WSUS server, we can also use uh, this tool to export it as well. So within here, we would come into the WSUS certificate store, and then we would choose the certificate that is in the WSUS store, and then right click and choose to export it. Now within the export, we do not want to export the private key, so we only want the public cert, and we're going to keep the .sur extension here. And then we'll just export that. And this is essentially the same cert that I exported using our publishing service, but this is the method that you could use if you're using a different utility for publishing updates. Now from here, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and copy that .sur file. And then within a machine that has group policy enabled, we'll go ahead and copy that certificate into that machine. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new group policy. I'll call it WSUS signing cert, and then I'm gonna go ahead and link it into the OU that we need here. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. All right, so under the computer configuration, Windows settings, security settings, public key policies, we want to go to the trusted root certification authorities. From here, we're going to right click on that certificate store and choose to import. Within the import wizard, we're going to go ahead and browse out to the .sur file that you exported. So in our case, we're going to browse out, select that, choose to place it in the trusted root store. So just like SCCM did, we're just using group policy to deploy that certificate to the trusted root and then finish. Now, it also needs to be added into the trusted publisher certificate store. So this is a requirement for the Windows Update agent 
in order to install any third-party updates, it also needs to be in the trusted publisher's certificate store. Now, in the scenario that you're using a PKI-based certificate from a trusted CA, you only technically have to import this cert into the trusted publishers. But if you're using a self-signed cert that you created through SCUP or created through our publishing tool, or even if SECM generated it, you need to have that type of certificate in both stores so it's at the root level as well as the trusted publishers. So we'll go ahead and import that to the publishers as well. And that looks good. So at this point, both certificates for both stores are in place for our WSUS signing cert. Now, there is one other client setting that we need in order for clients to install third-party updates. So under the administrative templates key here, we need to go to Windows Components, Windows Updates, and we need to enable the option to allow signed updates from an intranet Microsoft update service location. So that means that it's gonna allow third-party updates that are signed to be installed on your clients. So we'll go ahead and do okay on that. And at that point, we've now configured those prerequisites using group policy. So in the event that you're not on Config Manager 1806, or you don't have HTTPS, this method that we just performed would also perform those same actions that we did previously in our SCCM console. So the only thing that you'd have to do from that point is we would run a quick GP update on our client in order for it to get those new policies if you just wanted to test one device. Of course, this would automatically happen during your client's normal GP update cycles, so the certificate would get trusted and then clients would be able to install any published third-party updates. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.